Girl Scouts are known for being resourceful, respectful, and responsible. And now more Minnesota girls can officially call themselves Scouts. The local council is making a push to diversify troops. And as I found out, it's resulting in something special. Of all the transactions at Mall of America, how much for a box? Five dollars. These are some of the most important. We're selling Girl Scout cookies. Sell. Thank you, guys. After sell. How did I do you want my Girl Scout cookies? After sell. I've never had those before. Yeah, they're the new ones. They came up with an Encanto theme, and it seems to be working. These girls know a lot about work and play. They really help me remember that life is not always have to be so serious. Like, it's just not always that serious. But there's a serious purpose behind this troop. It's to lead the way with some much needed representation. In looking at some of the data, in Minnesota, there's only 28% of Girl Scouts that identify as girls of color, right? And so if you think about it, with all the Girl Scouts in our state, that is too low of a number. Paulette, who grew up as one of five kids to a single mom, never got the chance to become a scout. So she's making sure these kids always have that opportunity. And I grabbed a friend of mine, Carvey, who is uh, amazing, and the two of us put the word out, and in less than 36 hours, our troop was full with 10 girls ready to rock. And are they ever ready? And we did a Piana project. We did a pizza party. That's a lot of fun you're having. Yeah, and on the pizza party, we did a Halloween party, too. Yeah. And on this day, they're having a candle-making party, learning how to make their own. No, you can pour it. That's perfect. From Minneapolis entrepreneur, Rosaline. So this is soy wax. And her lessons are igniting a passion. Do you know what you want to do when you grow up? <laughs> Be a candle-maker. Be a candle-maker. Oh, wow, like Miss Rosalind. Yeah. Wow. What do you want to do when you're up? Making bath bombs. Making bath bombs. I no. love it. Same. So sometimes they learn about business. So I bought candle making supplies online. And sometimes they're conducting business on their own. Now, how many cookies do you want to sell? Um, 1,500. 300? 1,500. Oh, and I'm going to sell 2,000 cookies. Cookie time! Learning lessons on the deepest of levels. To be kind, to be good, to be strong, to be honest. They're using those traits to pave the way. I really strive to make it a point that we are seen, we are visible, that our girls are heard, that they are visible. Even when we were having booths this weekend, I mean, there were people walking up to our table like, I've never seen an all-black troop. Like, I've never seen a black Girl Scout troop leader. And I, at that moment, I knew we were doing something special. And they are. Girl Scouts are very, very so good that I love it to be in a Girl Scout forever. Me too. That is the goal. For my girls to walk into any situation with their head held high and their crowns adjusted and say, man, I got this. And special is the way to describe it. Thank you. <laughs> Little girls with huge hearts and big minds. Well, if you want to support the troop, you can go ahead and go on their Instagram page. They're very active on social media. You can just look up Girl Scouts Mentor Troop and you can follow them there. They're also looking actively for more women of color to become troop leaders.